Meanwhile, the Minister of Health, Dr. Osage Haniwe, has disclosed that the medicines brought into the country as gifts by the Chinese government to further strengthen the fight against the coronavirus COVID-19 will be first cleared by the National Agency for Food and Drug Administration and Control, NAFDAC, before they are used. He explained that the purpose of the medical team from China coming into the country is to provide technical support for the nation's healthcare workers, especially on the tactics and strategies they use to reduce the cases of coronavirus in their country. The minister who made this known during the brief by the presidential tax force on COVID-19 in Abuja said the team from China is on a quarantine. And now Dr. Philip Ekme, the chairman of Nigeria Medical Association, Abuja chapter, joins us live on phone. Good afternoon, doctor. Good afternoon. Nigeria keeps recording new cases of COVID-19. What's your take on this development? Well, thank you very much. I, I think um, the problem here is that we are not doing enough testing. If you look at it very well, we have just tested over 5,000. While countries are testing 200,000, 500,000, 1 million. So we still have a lot of cases within the country that have not been tested and have, been, have just been discovered daily. I mean, if we have tested over 100,000, probably would have gotten our two incidents. But right now, our testing is so limited that we may not be able to get the actual figure. So the figures we are getting now are not even reliable. We may have more COVID-19 out there than we are testing. And so you're saying categorically, if we are to increase our testing capacity, there may be more cases, reported cases, than has been reported right now? Most likely. Now, the, the, the NMA has categorically kicked against the invitation of Chinese doctors to the country. And what is the bone of contention here? Well, the fact is that... Um, uh, if you look at the data all over the world, Nigeria is just at the bottom, considering the number of COVID cases that we have identified. And we do not have so much critical cases. As we're talking, no, no Nigeria, no case is on ventilator. And no case has used ventilator before now. And the ones that are managing in Abuja and Lagos are doing very well. You can see the number that have been discharged. We are opportune to talk to the patients on admission and are all very stable. So what is a hurry to bring in China to Nigeria with, with uh, all the so-called support and the medical uh, experts? I mean, they can send whatever they want to send. They don't even have to bring in medical experts because we, we have a lot of doctors who are not even employed here uh, that can be utilized. We have infectious disease experts. And, of course, we are doing very well. Now, Dr. Osage Haniwe, the Minister of Health, was quoted as saying that they are to provide tactics and strategies used to reduce the cases of coronavirus in their country. Would this not be helpful for Nigeria, despite um, the well, similar dissimulation you guys are having any, against it? Is there any tactics that is hidden that I have not read over the news, through media, through internet, through telemedicine? Is there any tactics that is hidden? Everybody, in short, even the common man is aware of the various tactics in managing COVID-19. So I don't know what new they are bringing to the system that I've not heard before. So, and what you are using now is working for us now. So, I mean, if what you are doing is working for you, why do you want to change it? So we are wondering, it's, it's quite suspicious. Now, let's talk about the next move of course of action you think you will recommend, given the case that we're, we're recording more cases, more increased cases of COVID-19. What would you say should be the best move, the next move to avoid, you know, like, a community a transmission of COVID-19, the coronavirus? Like I explained before, the reason why we are recording more cases is that there are a lot of cases out there that have not been tested before now. So most of the money to the test should be channeled towards increasing the testing center so that we have more people tested, so that we know the actual incident. And so that, that is what I think that should be done. I also advocate for universal use of face masks while we are doing the lockdown. The, the, uh, the governors that are relaxing the lockdown are making a very huge mistake. I think they should not relax the lockdown. The lockdown should be ongoing while we continue to identify the cases. Yes, universal use of face masks and uh, 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 personal protective equipment are also very, very important. While we are also doing all we have to do to contain the spread, like washing your hand over running water with soap for over 20 seconds, Use of hand sanitizer, social distancing, and then self-isolation is very, very important. We have to shift from just um, testing those who are with symptoms to those who, have, who are at risk 
especially he have had contact with somebody who is possibly or had contact or just came back from abroad or somebody who have even just the symptoms even without the contact with somebody is positive we have to increase our testing ability the whole idea is to test as many as possible to identify the cases will cause isolation and reduce the spread thank you Dr. Philip Ekbe, NMA Chairman, Abuja Chapter, thank you for your time and for joining us on News on the Hour. Thank you very much.